What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can certify, get yourself certified in the Professional Scrum Developer Certificate. So I just finished today my Scrum Developer Certificate and I passed it with 95% score. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how you can do it too. And also something embarrassing about me. So one week ago, I did my first attempt at this certificate. Yes, that's right, the first attempt, because unfortunately I did not pass the first attempt. I did the first attempt at a, a website called PeopleCert. So there are different vendors where you can get your certification. I definitely have a clear favorite. The PeopleCert website that I did my first attempt, I would not recommend. The way that the exam experience was is that you would get a live person that will control you during the whole exam. So you have 60 minutes to answer 40 questions and somebody's going to watch your screen and you have a special software activated that you can go nowhere else on your computer except this. Before the, uh, the exam starts, they're going to check you out your whole room. You have to show with the whole camera your room. So that was not a very pleasant, uh, nice experience and I would definitely not recommend uh, people search to get this exam. Now it's one week later and I did try it again and I passed the exam and I did that on um, scrum.org. So I can definitely recommend you scrum.org website where you can also get the professional scrum certificate. On people search it's around $300 so it is not a free certificate. You will always pay for it. But on scrum.org it is a little bit cheaper. It is going to be $200 for one attempt. You have do have to pass 85% uh, on scrum.org and you have 80 questions and you have to answer them in 60 minutes. So less than one minute per question, but it is gonna be a multiple or a single choice question. And they always tell you how many answers you have. Like uh, you can choose two, you can choose three. It's gonna say there in the answer and you just have to click on it. So you do have really have enough time to answer all these questions but you don't have enough time to like browse around. So really, you really have to know your stuff. But on the positive side, it is not saying on scrum.org that you cannot browse around or maybe research a question. So if you do know all most of them very well and you just have to do that for one or two, then it definitely says nothing against that in the guidelines. So and that's what I also did in the test. And you don't have any live person that is uh, controlling you during the test. So I definitely recommend the scrum.org website. So how do you prepare in the end for it? How did I manage to pass the test? So what I can tell you is that you can do several um, test certificates. So there is a developer open, the way you can make a test with 30 questions. And if you answer them very good, then that's already a, a very good sign. And there are different other sites that I would also recommend that there is a link in the description where you can make test exams for free and you can test your knowledge on them. Now, the problem is I also did that before my first attempt, but the problem is after like uh, the second attempt already, you know the questions by heart because they are just 30 questions and they are not going to be mixed up at all in my experience. So you have the same 30 question again. Of course, you know these questions, but you don't know really the framework in total. So in the end, what do you really have to know is the question. For the Scrum Developer Certificate, you really have to know two things. You have to know first the normal Scrum. So there is also a Professional Scrum Master Certificate where you learn the normal Scrum framework. You also have to know that in the Scrum Developer, but the Scrum Developer goes even a step further and you also have to know the development side on it. So for the traditional Scrum side on it, I can definitely recommend to you the Scrum Guide. So this is something that you should read very carefully. I didn't read it before my first attempt because I had it read it uh, six months ago and I thought that would be enough. Uh, it was not enough. You would definitely really have to read uh, this Scrum Guide. And in case you need another kind of understanding, it, I would also recommend to look at some uh, pictures, diagrams from the Scrum Guide. There are pictures out there where there's a one page of Scrum where you can see everything. And also definitely uh, do test exams and test questions. 
I also did um, a Scrum a Udemy course, which I can also link to you. I mean, I attended this course. I didn't create it myself, but that was very helpful. And I also did the one on developer exam questions. And now there is also another very, very useful free resource for 280 um, exam questions on GitHub. And I'm going to link that also to you. This is, I would say, the most important resource next to the Scrum Guide. And luckily, the Scrum Guide is for free. And this GitHub page resource is also for free. So you can both get them. And this I found very, very helpful, these 280 questions. I didn't really go through all of them before, the, before I tested in the exam. But the ones that I did, I found them very helpful and I found them also very similar to the real exam. So it's definitely recommended that you go and look at them. So the last thing that I would say is you have to know, of course, about the Scrum uh, frameworks, like I said, and you have to know about the developer, developer concepts. And what I mean by that is you have to know about test-driven development. You have to know about cyclomatic complexity behavior driven development acceptance uh, test driven development you have to know what is clean code you have to know what are automated builds what is really a devop what is continuous integration continuous delivery you don't have to really know this concept in details and you don't have to know any tools for this so there is definitely no questions about any sort of tools but you do have to know the basic concepts what this uh, things what these terms are about because they will uh, get asked in the scrum developer test so if you take by heart everything that i just said in this video then you you can pass the test um, really good and um, you can i i believe also succeed it on the first attempt if you really go through this resources that i just shared with you so that was it i wish you good luck if you do try to make their certificate and see you in the next video.